Every day when you show up at work, there's deadlines and demands, and quite frankly, it's making us all very stressed out. Well, I'm here today with Dr. Calm, Annika Sorensen, who's written a book, Take Stress from Chaos to Calm. Dr. Annika, thanks for being here with us all the way from Sweden. Thank you very much for having me. It's so nice. So what's happening in the workplace? Why are we all so stressed out? There is too much to do in the workplace and too little time for the things that we have to do. And also there is a disorganization, I would say. And you have to find ways to get out of this uh, stressful situation. The whole workplace has to do it together. Uh, and the leadership is very, very important. What is the cost of everyone being so stressed out at work? Uh, the cost of stress in the workplace is tremendous. Uh, the latest uh, is that the, the, main cost, the, the main cause of uh, sick leave is actually stress-related disease. And those are, and it has been so for the last three years in this modern, uh, in the modern world. And uh, that is only the cost for those that are really known as stress then we have the, all the other diseases that also probably have a stress relation. So it's a very big uh, issue in the workplace today. Now you work with uh, small companies to help them work together to calm stress down in the workplace. What kind of results have you seen? I worked with one company with the eight uh, middle manage, uh, managers and it, all their meetings were just chaos. So I came there and uh, I uh, told them that we have, to, we have to find the calm in this. And I said, now we're gonna have the breathing exercise. And uh, this uh, one of these guys, he said, oh, no, 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 you're not gonna have me have any breathing exercises. That's not for people like us. And I told him that the breathing, that's life. Everyone has to breathe and that's also for you and it's for your boss and it's for everybody. And we eventually did all those breathing exercises. When I got back the next time, they were so much calmer. They had a more normal discussion. And in the long term, I met them. They also could uh, exclude meetings because they didn't have, really have, them, have to have them because they had so much better communication. Uh, from working with their situation. Why is breath such a powerful tool to help us calm down? Breath is such a powerful tool because it has really, I would say, two main effects when you're in a stressful situation. And the one is that if you think of your breathing, then your problem is gonna go away for a second or a microsecond because you can't have two thoughts in your brain at the same time. So if you think of your breathing, your problem goes away a little. And at the same time, when you do breathe, you're, you're, um, you're gonna get more oxygen in your brain, so your thoughts will be, will be clearer. So you have the two effects, clearer thoughts, a little distance to the problem, and it's gonna be so much easier to figure out what to do in the moment. So, Dr. Annika, you're the author of two books, both of them on stress. Tell me a little bit about the De-Stress Diaries. The De-Stress Diary is a reflective book. It has 52 tips and uh, you reflect on them and it's thought that you can do it once a week and if you, if you, you take a new one each week and if you do that for 52 weeks, that's a full year and you implement just a few of those things that you read about and that you reflect on, you're gonna take baby steps towards uh, a difference in your life. And that difference might be very big uh, in a year, even if the small steps are small during the journey. And when we first started our conversation, we talked about stress from chaos to calm. Tell me about that book. Uh, the Take Stress from Chaos to Calm uh, book, that is a workbook. It is uh, based on my, I, my program of uh, how to organize 
the major look of your whole life, the helicopter, the virtual helicopter view, where you look at the wheel of life and it's a chapter for each of those parts in the wheel of life. So you go through, you go through the pro, through the program in this book, and you also follow a guy that is a, a case study uh, through the book. So you can see how you can use it, and it has tools and it has uh, templates uh, to work with. What is the wheel of life again? Uh, the Wheel of Life is eight pieces, and it is um, body or health, and then it's mindset or personal development. It is work, it is free time, it is money, it is place or status in life, it is network, and it is uh, your personal intimate network or your personal intimate life. That's the, the eight pieces that goes, that contains your whole life. And what do we do with this wheel of life? We, the wheel of life is, is to use to, to reflect on how you, how you um, manage your life. So you look where you are today, you look where you want to go, and you find the gap in each of these, and then you set the road where you want to go. Uh, and you, you have to, to see which one to take first. And the, the big thing is that you have to start. If you do start, uh, you're going to make changes. And if you do uh, start and do the changes, everything is going to change also in the other parts. Or it's, it doesn't, uh, it, you can start anywhere and you will see that other things change too. Dr. Annika Sorensen, thank you so much for being here with us and helping us all calm down. Thank you very much.